So today I'm going to try and, uh, well, hopefully I will, uh, make a, a URL shortener um, in less than an hour. Uh, it can't be that difficult because loads of people do it. So URL shortening is basically, um, have a look at the wiki page. Basically you take this, uh, your domain, so someone hitting your domain, and then you send them off to a another domain. So it's useful if you've got like, say you don't want to take them to like a, the root level one, you want to go like page in folder something like that uh, and you want them to take this your, your short code to to long address that's what that's what short code stuff does or url shortening does so it's actually not as difficult as um what i think a lot of people do think it is so i'm just on a standard shared web hosting platform i've got a folder set up that's uh how can i uh probably get rid of that error log because delete um, so I'm just on a shared platform the first thing I'm going to do is um, make sure that error log yeah so the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to make a uh, basic page so I'm just going to do it in PHP because why not it's nice and easy um, so we're going to do it in a function uh, we're going to call it home page And then we're going to echo out that this is the home page. Uh, and then at the top here, we're going to call that function like so. So we can just check that this is actually working and preview it. So there we go. This is the home page. So cool. We've got a page that doesn't do much. Brilliant. So what we want it to do is we want it to go. So if someone was to type in uh, something other than index, say they typed in Monday YYHHSS, they don't get a, a, a resource not found that they get pushed to the right address. So what we're going to do first is make sure that this 404 actually pushes them to this index page. So to do that, we're going to add a file called .htaccess. Um, so these are like access rules and stuff for the page. And then we're going to add into here uh, some error handling so error is it two r's error document uh, 404 and then we're going to push to the right document so th you wouldn't normally put all this stuff in like this directory but because i'm in a shared platform and i'm not working directly on the root um, i'm working within a couple of folders so workspace and then my folder is url and i'm going to push them to the index.php file so now rather than going there, you get pushed to the home page. And this goes for anything that I now put in into here. It pushes it back to that index page, which is good. So we can also, uh, that's it, done with the HT access. We can also now um, actually look at what that page or what that request was. So we're gonna echo out the, the request, so. Um, and the way we do that is we can use a variable which is it's a server variable server and it is request URI so the request was that blah 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 so now if we put something in there we don't get it because what have I done wrong This is the wrong, it should be uppercase. Let's try again. Hey, there we go. So you get the full request. So we're only interested in this last bit. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to split that up. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create an array, uh, which we'll call URL. Or URI, let's get it correct. URI, which will be an array, and then we'll explode the... Um, the actual you the full one into it so server uh, it's request I Q E S T request U R I um, we'll explode that into it and then what we'll do is we will echo um, so we're going to echo the last one I think so we use the size of U R I uh, 
that yeah let's echo out the size of the array for a second so if we now reload this page so you can see that this array has a size of zero what have I done wrong ah oh, I haven't told it how to explode so we need to explode on the forward slash there we go so now if we reload the page Uh, we get the size of the array, so it'll be like 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we need to look for the one at the end. So what we want to do is we'll echo a couple of lines. Um, it's probably not very good HTML, actually. We'll echo out lines, and then we'll echo out the uh, URI, and we'll echo out only the element we're looking for. So um, we'll go size of the URI. Let's echo out the last one for the minute and see what happens. Uh, you get nothing. So I think it might be size of URL minus one. Let's try to do that. There we go. So now we get what they actually asked for. So whatever they put in here so like I know Google we'll get that back out perfect so obviously this is not all going to sit in, in the home page we're going to have to do some stuff up here so what we're going to do is we're going to put in some uh, like a switch case so uh, what we can do is we can uh, see if the page is set so like we can say if um, well actually no let's, let's get that variable out at the very beginning so we will we'll nab this and we'll also nab this and we'll say that the page equals that so there we go at the top we're getting out our things so the request was and we'll put it in there just to say that we've got it going. So reload. Right, why has that not worked? Ah, oh, it's not global. Right. There we go. So now we can see what the request was Google or maybe we'll try Google too. Perfect. So we shall now say like if dollar page is equal to nothing well then we're going to want the home page otherwise we're going to do something else and we'll remove this home page from there so now if we get this page we know if we've got it right uh, if not, we're doing something else. So let's see if there's nothing. Do we get the home page? Great. And if we get a page, if we get a page, we do something else. So what do we do if we get something else? Well, we want to uh, push to a new location. So we're going to redirect. C we the R I C T redirect to somewhere based around this page so now we need a function called redirect D-I-R-E-C-T and this is going to take in a page uh, and it's going to do something and what are we going to do? well we're going to redirect so how do you redirect a HTML page? we use the header function so what we can do in, in this header we can redirect uh, to a different location uh, the way you do that is with location and then you put in the address so google.co.u no google.com let's, let's internationalize the code so great so now what we're going to do is if they go to the home page we're going to go to our page and if not they go to something else then it's going to take them to google but it's not why what have i done wrong uh, typo so let's try that again there we go so it redirects to the home page groovy 
So that is the basic functioning of a uh, short code um, URL system. Uh, now, I guess we can make it a little bit more complicated. So what we could do is hook this up to a database and then we could query a database and then based around that those queries from the database, we can um, redirect to different pages. So I guess I'll split here and call this one video and then make another video on adding database functionality. Thanks for watching.